You should know about Finna have LA County on fire Got the whole hood showing out A new concept Peep the process I'ma break it down And put it in proper context Get a seven foot map With your set on it Red or blue It don't matter You can flex on it Long Beach Compton and Watts LA Inglewood Every single block Might catch a view With your local barbershop Hang it up at the crib And you getting props Collect this item For the chosen few Go ahead and buy you one For the culture Like you supposed to do If you new to the town you need a good map I got one better Get you a hood map Guarantee you it's worth it Hoodmapsllc.com For the purchase Juice Bundles And we back again The Sound of Hip Hop The podcast Where we improving the culture One episode at a time Anyway We gonna jump into Another Juice's Ratings my boy Boosie Badass just came out with another album called Heartfelt. It's, it's uh, I believe it's 16 songs on there. He only has one feature. It's some dude named Trouble or whatever. You know what I mean? And uh, just to jump into his album, I will at least say this. You get what I'm saying? I will at least say that he just came out with a, a album last year called Mississippi. Now, this album is way better than that one. You know what I mean? It's only 16 songs. The other one was 19. But I will say that still, it's really not for me. But what I will say that he done on this album is that he improved more or less on his strengths. Like, everybody knows, like, everybody likes Boosie for that pain music. Just Boosie for the pain and struggle feel. You got a lot of that with this album. You get what I'm saying? You got a lot of that with this album. So, also, what I like to say is, you know, he really brung himself to this album. You know what I mean? What, you know, as far as what he could do, he really brung himself. And I felt like in a long time, you really hearing like authentic Boosie. Not saying this the, from what he started or whatever, but I'm just saying you just, whatever he's been going through and whatever, you know, however his life been going, this is really him in this album. That's just what I get from it. So that's one thing I liked about this album. So please go check this joint out. So now let's jump into the Fab Four. You know how we do this. And the first song in the Fab Four is called Love All Gone. You know what I mean? This is one of them pain songs, like I say. like, And it ain't that type of pain. Like, you know, it's like a different type of pain. Like, you know, he talk about, you know, people that, you know, been killed. You know what I mean? He talk about how his partners done betrayed him. He just, he, basically, he show you how... In all the ways, like, you know, how the love is going from this earth and why the love is going from him. You get what I'm saying? All the stuff he's been through and seen. And I really thought that that was dope for him. You get what I'm saying? Because, not just my opinion, it's taking more of the skill out of it and he's able to more or less give you you. It's actually the first song on the album and I believe he definitely wants to start off with something like this. I believe this is the best song on the album, too. So please check it out. So for the second song in the Fab Four, we got a song called Big Unk. And the reason why I like this song is, you know what I mean, he just talk about his Big Unk. And, you know, if you listen to it, you know what I'm talking about. It's self-explanatory. You know, he take you through all the things his Big Uncle told him. You get what I'm saying? And it's crazy because he talks a lot about about. You know what I mean? His uncle told him to put the ski mask on and then how to cook the crack and all that. That's crazy. Like, this is the type of role models we had, and this is why he's showing you, like, yo, this is what I had in my life. You get what I'm saying? That's why I'm me. It's just sad that those are the people that we look up to, and not and not to say nothing was wrong with his uncle because that's the life that he lived just because of his circumstances. So, you know, it takes some time for you to look at it. You know, you might be able to even relate to it, but look out the box when you, you know, listening to songs like this. But I really like this because even though whether good or bad, you get what I'm saying? It shows that, you know, we do have some type of role models in our life, just depending on our circumstances and what we go through, that's who they'll be. And that's what made him him part of that. 
So with that being said, I'm telling you, check this out. I really like this joint. So for the next song on the Fab Four, we got a song called By the Ocean. And the reason why I picked this as part of the Fab Four is like, it's like he's letting you know like, the ocean for him is like a therapy session. You know what I mean? He take when he take you by that ocean, like you know, when he riding by that ocean, he just taking you through his thought process about you know just reminiscing on his past. You know, just just really thinking about you know where his life is going and how he got here and you know how he survived certain stuff. It's just like it, I thought that was pretty dope. It was like you know a a therapy session. You get what I'm saying? That's what he kind of did with this song. He took you through everything. And I was kind of, you know, especially because of his skill level, no disrespect, I was kind of dope that he made that like that. You get what I'm saying? He made that like a, a good topic. So shout out to him for that and check it out. So for the last song on the Fab Four, we got a song called So Different. I really like the production on this song and I really like the mood it puts me in. Now, as far as the song goes, I really like it because it's something that I really relate to. I feel like I'm so different than the world I'm in. I mean, I'm so different from dudes that's, you know, you just normally see. You know what I mean? He's just telling, that's what he's telling you on this song, how he's so different from, you know, the dudes out here, from the world he's living in. And maybe he's different because some of the choices he makes and how he lives his life. And you know what I mean? I could dig it. You know what I mean? I really kind of related to this song. That's why I really picked this song. And it's a bopper, though, man. It's a bopper and it's a car jam. So check it out. So with that being said, man, we just got in a boosty badass new album. It's called Heartfelt. And like I said, I really wanted to commend him on making a better album than last year, that album Mississippi. I really didn't like that album. No offense to you. And uh, I really wanted to commend him by, it's like, I don't know how it was at first, but I'm starting to see, well, it's, it just seems like that with this project, even though it's late, he sounds like he's found more of who he is in music. It's not really the skill set. It's not really that. It's more of the... um. It's more of the putting the whole song and project and feelings together within his music to make good music. I, I think that he accomplished that, especially with the Fab Four um, songs that I picked. I feel like he didn't accomplish that through the entire album, but he accomplished it more on this album than what I've really heard as of recent. You get what I'm saying? And uh, I'm sorry, you guys, if I didn't say it in the beginning of the video, I'm sorry. I really looked to try to find the production, you know, the things that I usually find for y'all and give you information about on my videos. But I, I, I Googled everything with him and KRS-One's new album. I could not find, you know, who produced those songs, especially the songs from my Fab Four. So I'm sorry about that. But hopefully I could do better on the next one or get, or get lucky or something. But, yeah, I would just have to say that, um, you know, he's getting better, but – I'm going to be honest, I did, I could at least say, I did like the four songs that I picked for the Fab Four, but I probably liked one more, and that was about it. His skill set is so badly to me, and not even just his skill set, like his voice is real bad to me, you get what I'm saying? But it's just to me that even though he did so much better, I still didn't really like the album, but I will give him credit for at least that, you know what I mean? At least he's putting his heart into it, at least he's you know, doing it how he wants to do it. That's what it actually sounds like on this album, that he's doing this, he's putting this together how he wanted to do it. But with the skill set being what it was and for him to have 16 songs and me to probably only like five, I mean, I'm going to give him, I'm going to give this album, I'm going to give this album a D. You know what I mean? I'm going to give him a D. I'm not even going to minus him or plus him, but I'm going to give him a D on this album. I think, it definitely could have been way better for sure. And, uh, you know, it's still some things he needs to work on. I think he's finding his voice a little bit with with um, with um making it melodic, you know what I mean, with the music. I think he's finding that more or less. But his skill set and, and just kind of how he sounds, I've never really liked his voice. But he's getting better, you know what I mean? I'm going to give him a D for that. You know, hit the comments section. Let me know what's going on. Hit the comments section too, man. So I won't run into this problem again. If that's the case, let me know which website, what to Google to 
that will never stop me from finding the production on these albums and stuff like that. Hit me in the comments section and let me know. I tried Wiki, I tried Genius, I tried everything. Hit me in the comments section and let me know. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you don't like the video, just because dislike has the word like in it, just hit the like button. And please subscribe to the channel. I need a thousand subscribers and share the video so that everybody can see it. You know what I mean? Big ups to him getting a better album than last year. Hopefully he comes with another better project than this year. I mean, than this one later on this year. So with that being said, it's your boy Juice Bundles. It's the sound of hip hop. And we out of here.